This is a blue microphone. Anna Leeds explains European politics. Uh, I have a visitor today in the European Parliament. Uh, this is Sarah Ditty from Fashion Revolution from London. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi. Pleasure to be here. So nice to have you been here as well. Uh, you have been working in the European Parliament. Uh, where are you now and what do you work for? What is Fashion Revolution? Absolutely. I am Sarah. I'm the head of policy for Fashion Revolution. We are a global movement calling for greater transparency in the fashion industry. We are working towards a fashion industry that is cleaner, safer, fairer for workers across the entire supply chain and for consumers as well. I met you when I, working here, when I was working on the supply chain on garment. And what happened uh, is uh, that we are working on a resolution of the European Parliament, which is going to be brought into the Parliament uh, for vote tomorrow. And we would like to have a better supply chain, a fair supply chain. And uh, you have been very inspiring with your initiative uh, for us as parliamentarians. And we have been using one of your signs very often. It says, who made my clothes? So what is it all about? And how does it work? And how are the responses? Absolutely. So at the moment, the fashion industry remains to be exploitative towards people and environmentally damaging. And that's something that we really want to change. And we believe that greater transparency is the first step towards achieving that change. And so a simple way for people to get involved is by asking this important question, who made my clothes, which we believe should be a fairly simple, straightforward question for brands and retailers to be able to answer about how their products are made. Unfortunately, it's not. So we are encouraging the public all over the world to ask this question of the brands that they wear and in hopes that it pushes for greater transparency. And it's been quite successful. It's gone sort of viral. If, if if you'd like that term. Um, last year, our hashtag, who made my clothes, on social media garnered 156 million impressions. That's amazing. With like thousands of events happening all over the world to discuss the issues during Fashion Revolution Week, which is happening now. And yeah, we're just really excited to see the conversation sparked so widely. It is very important to have that. Uh, four years ago, Rana Plaza happened. Over 1,100 people died. But you have this kind of accidents all over the world again and again. So we work on that together. And uh, for example, my uh, clothing I'm wearing uh, has been done also by an NGO. It's called Fairwear Foundation, where you can look at the supply chain. And so it's possible. It's difficult to get clothing. How do you announce that to people how to get better clothing? Where should they go shopping? Yeah, absolutely. The other thing that Fashion Revolution does is to kind of celebrate and promote the brands and retailers from, you know, tiny designers up to, you know, larger brands who are kind of on a journey towards a more ethical and sustainable supply chain. And so we encourage people to shop, you know, instead of always just buying the easy option, do a little bit of extra research online, it makes it easy, shop from independent brands who are working in a sustainable way, perhaps buy secondhand clothing, um, and if all else fails, just ask the brand, you know, who, who, is, who made my clothes, under what conditions? Um, I want you to know that it's important that I care about the people who made my clothes, and then I want them to be paid fairly and work in adequate conditions, and we believe that brands listen to that. That's what we have experienced, also visiting brands. Uh, so please follow the European debate and also look at the website on fashionrevolution.org. Who made my clothes? Get this printed out and make a picture uh, today or tomorrow and uh, send it in. So thank you for much, so much for being here and uh, hope to see you soon again. Thank you so much, Arne. Okay.